Here we have an organic chemistry exam question from the 2017 paper two exam on the OCRA specification in A-level chemistry. And this exam question is all about the nitration of an aromatic ring. Specifically, we have benzoic acid here and it's forming three nitrobenzoic acid in this reaction equation. The exam question then has some specific instructions about what it wants to analyze with regards to this reaction equation. And we're told that a chemist carries out the reaction using 4.97 grams of benzoic acid. So that's our reactant there. The chemist obtains three nitrobenzoic acid, but it's impure. And then after purification, they have 4.85 grams of the three nitrobenzoic acid. The question then gives us our instructions here and typical OCR with some of its level of response questions here. We've not been given out these instructions as a tiered system. So they've not said do this, then that, then the other. They've given it as one big bulky sentence here and we've got to pluck out of this what the separate instructions for the level of response smart scheme will look like. Here, what we've got is describe a method to obtain a pure sample. So that's a purification of organic solid instruction. That's a recrystallization. Determine the percentage yield. You've got to include a bit of calculation in this, and it's very common for percentage yield to come up on the paper two exam. Finally, you've got this little sneaky one here where it says, check its purity. A lot of people might think, well, that's just part of the recrystallization, but it isn't. We're gonna to need to do a little bit of melting point analysis to tie off this question. And that will be part three of my response. So let's take a look at my three different parts to my answer and how I would model this out in an exam. Okay, so here is my mark scheme. And as you can see, I've got three different parts to my answer just here, and I'm gonna go through each of them one at a time. I'm also gonna reiterate this all the way through, but please read your instructions when it comes to level of response exam questions. Please separate it out into different stages so you can keep track of all the information you've provided. And particular with these percentage yield calculations, keep an R on your relative molecular masses, your MR values or molar masses, if you wish to use that descriptor for them, as it's very easy to accidentally use the benzoic acid molar mass when you meant to use the three nitrobenzoic acid molar mass. And we'll have a look at that where it could come up as an issue with my full mark scheme here. For part one, I'm going to look at the purification of organic solids, which is, of course, a recrystallization. Now, this is a pretty typical set of stages that you need to be aware of, and it's instant flashcard material. We're going to dissolve the substance, so our organic solid, in the minimum amount of hot solvent. That's quite specific. We then cool the mixture in an ice bath. We then filter under reduced pressure, which is with a vacuum, using a Buchner funnel and a Buchner flask. Be specific with your kit there, please. We then wash the sample with a small amount of the cold solvent and leave it to dry. You must make sure you've got all of these stages mentioned, and this is quite typical for an OCR purification of organic solids exam question response. Next up, part two, I've got my percentage yield calculation. Now, the percentage yield calculation is very common, like I've already said, in the paper two exam, and also quite typical for these big organic percentage yield questions. The actual ratio between the organic molecules is very often one to one. So the mark schemes for these can be a little bit confusing sometimes because they don't often show that movement of that one to one ratio because there isn't really much to say about it um, in their response. So they don't often show that you would consider that one to one ratio as part of your answer. So I'm just letting you uh, see that here so you can see where and why I've got this included. First off then, I've got my moles of benzoic acid that are being used as my starting point, which is going to be mass divided by the relative molecular mass of the benzoic acid, 4.97 divided by 122. Please be very careful with this. And that gives me 0 0.0407 mol of the benzoic acid being used. Now, as I just mentioned, there is a one-to-one -one ratio here between my organic reactant and my organic product. And so the moles of the three nitrobenzoic acid I should theoretically make should be absolutely identical to that of the benzoic acid that I used in the reaction. Now, the actual moles of three nitrobenzoic acid that I make, however, is going to be found by taking the mass value that the candidate or the student in this case, or the chemist, whatever, they use it as a descriptor, taking the mass value that they actually obtain and dividing it by the molar mass of that product. So here you can see I'm using 167 instead. That means that my actual number of moles is going to be 0 0.0290 mole. And you can see that that's less than the theoretical. And it should always be less than the theoretical. If it's ever more than, you've not done something special, you've made a mistake. So please go through and check that. 
Then my calculation is actual moles that I have made divided by theoretical moles I should have got times 100. And you can see here that gives me a percentage yield of 71.3%. Finally here, we've got this last little sneaky bit that I did mention is chucked in just at the end and isn't very common in the OCR Paper 2 exams, but I <laughs> know I'm saying that and it'll definitely be your year where it comes up. Uh, but we've been told to check its purity. And what we need to do here is find its melting point. And then we compare this to a database value, so a known value for that particular substance, which is the three nitrobenzoic acid in this case. And a pure substance should have a melting point that is very close to this data book value. There were alternatives here described in the mark scheme that you can see for yourself. It is the 2017 paper two exam. So go and have a look at that. And they did link this to spectroscopy and TLC. But I think it's quite clear that the initial response that the examiner wanted you to give when we're checking purity here of an organic solid is to have a look at the melting point. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I really hope it has made a difference. But before you go, I do need some help. Please leave this video a like before you go because it really does help support my channel and let YouTube know I still exist. There's loads of good stuff around the screen now and links to my other video content in the description down below. So make sure you check that out before you head off. Until next time though, everybody, happy revising.